Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is that you're watching this. How's everybody doing? I am going to make something on this great collab that I am in with all these wonderful, wonderful, all these wonderful other ladies. But first off, do you have your water while you're watching? Go ahead and you can go get it if you don't have it because I'll just stand here and I'll waste a couple seconds because you know what, I actually need to fill my water up and I am going to do just that. Hi girls! So we're in this great collab about meals in slow cookers and per the norm, I picked a dessert because you know what, desserts are just easier to make. With these weak hands and everything that I have going on, pick something easy and eat it right? So that is what I did. I am making the Hungry Girl, someday I'll be prepared, Slow Cooker Peach Dump Cake. And oh my gosh, how delicious does that sound? Where to start? How about with ingredients? I think that's a great place to start. Carrie, thank you for inviting me to this slow cooker collab. Oh gosh, I hope it was Carrie. There's so many of us. We're just so busy with all these collabs. It's so easy to lose track. I have one coming up too, or it might have passed. I don't know. I can't remember when this one's being posted. But let's have a look-see at our ingredients. We need six cups of frozen sliced peaches, a box of cake mix, your choice of sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, vanilla, unsweetened applesauce, and some light butter. I don't have real light stuff right now, but that's okay. I can use that. I had everything but the peaches. Rock on, rock on. This is going to be so good. All right. So first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to spray the inside of our crock pot because we don't need no stinking peaches sticking to everything then we are going to put in our peaches that are defrosted thawed out and rinsed isn't that beautiful we're going to put in our cornstarch Look at me having everything all pre-measured. Oh my gosh. Sugar. Vanilla. And cinnamon. Then we are going to mix that up really well. What are we going to mix with the needle? Oh, how about a spurtle? A spurtle can conquer any hurdle but they're all dirty. Oh, this one's not. So I'm going to start with this one. Just mix it up real well. Mm. You know, I forgot to tell you guys, it's actually kind of funny. You know the 4th of July cake that Steve and I made for the, the 4th collab? Yeah, um, it's still in our refrigerator in the garage. Nobody ate it. And I know, I said, Anita, why haven't you thrown it out? Well, since we live in a town home, unfortunately our garages have to, our trash cans have to be kept in the garage. So we have to take things that go bad, freeze them, and then throw them away the day of trash day or else it just smells horrible in there and my honey can't go down there to listen to the beetles and fiddle and fart around and do whatever it is he does in there to get away from Moa. <laughs> I love him so much. He's a he's a good guy. You guys see everything that he does and everything he puts up with and I hope he likes peaches. Okay, so let's see what we have to do next. Does anybody else enjoy um, swing music and standards? I love standards. Now on this uh, cake mix you only need one and three quarters of it not the whole box. I should weigh this, but I think I can do this. I just like listening to the old standards. Where is the one and three quarters spot on here? There isn't one. One. Huh. I'm glad I took a look at that. Let me fix this up and I'll be right back. You know, I went shopping in my closet before I did this because I wanted to wear some longer sleeves and I forgot I had this color. And I think that since I've decided to 
go gray. I think purple will be one of my new good colors to purchase when I am getting some new clothes this fall. Okay, let me get this together. Now we're gonna take the rest of our ingredients. There's our cake mix. Get another spurtle. I love these things. And some unsweetened applesauce. I have the rest of my stuff in my crock pot just sitting to the side over there. And my light butter, which I weighed out before. Get you fine folks on here as to not waste your time. And we're gonna mix it up. Some cinnamon is called for in here as well. I kind of dumped it already too much into the crock pot, so that's okay. It's still gonna taste good. This is where I need to lighten up in the kitchen as I take everything so, it has to be just right. And you know, it's not always gonna be just right, and that's okay, it's still gonna come out. Mmm, it smells good. I don't ever eat butter, so this smells really good. All right, let's see what we do next. Okay, now they want us to drop balls over the uh, peaches. I sprayed a little Pam on my little scooper here. And that is just the way to do it. Isn't that easy? Oh, Anita, when you're smart, you're really smart because look at me go, you guys. I had this thought all on my own. I know, it's crazy. Let's even this out a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna drop balls in there and then they want us to spread the batter out evenly over the top. Let me do that, see how it comes All right, out. I'm not too concerned about spreading it out because it's pretty. It's a pretty thick consistency. So I'm just gonna take my spurtle and just do it a little bit. Maybe I'll check it later, but either way, once it's all cooked and combined, it's gonna be muy delicioso. Oh man, I can smell the cinnamon, I can smell the butter, I can smell the peaches. Oh, it's gonna be good. Now we need our Mickey lid. Let me find it. Okay, so we're gonna put Mickey back on here now. Oliver has come in to say hello. Say hello. Uh, we're gonna put the lid on, we're gonna cook it on high. We need to turn it on, good job. Don't be obnoxious, please. I just made a really good video, okay? okay. Thank you. Ow. Are you all right? Don't say that in front of all your videos. Two and a half hours or until topping is golden brown and firm. So, Oliver, let's put Mickey right here and keep an eye on him. It's going to be good. And let's put our timer for two hours and check it then. What do you say? Good idea, Nana? Uh-huh. All right. You know what I'm making? Oh, peach what? dessert. Do you like peaches? Yeah. With cake. Moving to the country. We're moving to the grooves. We're listening to standard music. Moving to the country. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. <laughs> Millions of peaches. All right, I'm gonna put back this in the back in my corner here Millions so that I can do some peaches. other stuff. Peaches for free. And when it's done, we will be here to show it to you in all its glory. Okay, well, our Oliver and I had to go to the store, and I came home, and I my timer was going off. Let's have a look. Boop, boop, beep, do. Oh, it looks good, but it's still got another half hour or so. Mmm. Over some vanilla ice cream. I'm going to win this, I'm going to win this crock pot, uh, crock pot competition. Nobody else knows it's a competition, but when I win, they'll find out. Right? Uh -huh. Oh, I need to open that. All right. Well, this stuff is done. I couldn't find my camera because somehow it ended up on the floor in the living room. I don't know. So... You guys, I wish I had smell o vision um, Oh, look at that. Mmm, it smells good. Let me stick my nose in here and smell it for you. Oh, over some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream. 
we're gonna have some happy happy campers here tonight I went and got some blue bunny sugar-free ice cream so I'm gonna try this out this is four smart points for half a cup and the way I figured the dessert it's about four smart points per serving this is where I get tripped up but um, you guys can figure that out because Depends on if you serve it, you know, divided to six or eight, five or whatever. So let me scoop some up and see how it works. I sure wish I had a glass bowl large enough for these sort of things so you guys could see what I'm having. I guess I could always make it portion control friendly by using this. Let's see now. Come on, Anita, you can do this. I know you can. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man. Can you see it? Can you see the steam coming off of it? Oh. And then in here with this ice cream. I am going to put this in the big bowl. This is what I'm having for dinner. Let's go sit at the table. Oh, people. <laughs> there you have it. Hey, we're missing something. Hold the phone. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. This is fat free. And let's have a bite. We got cake, peach, whipped cream, ice cream. Oh my gosh. Come on, Anita. So delicious. It's so delicious. You kind of have the feeling that there's strudel in there, but there's not because it's just got a little smattering of cinnamon, just a tiny bit of sugar. It's still warm out of the crock pot with the ice cream and the whipped cream. It's delicious. You know what? This is just as good, if not better, than anything that we go out for for dessert when we're treating ourselves or we go out for a meal this is so good I couldn't wait I just I just couldn't wait it's been in there cooking all day I knew it was there I know nobody blames me but hold on you have to have your water gotta go eat Herein lies the problem with a lot of us. This needs to get eaten up quickly. I just had sugar. My brain is telling me, go have more sugar. That was so delicious, Anita. Just go have some more. Just go get another bite. And then another bite's gonna lead to another bite. Make this wonderful recipe. Make it, and you'll thank me. But make sure you have enough people to eat it all so you're not tempted to go back and get more. Now, I was going to get up and turn around and go in there and get some more, but I'm going to do one better. I'm going to go in my bedroom. I'm going to change my shirt into something lighter, plop the hair on top of the head, and go walk off what I just ate. Win-win for everybody. Most of all, me. Thanks, guys. She's loud.